Yo, 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 what's going on guys? Reese here from Stoic Pool and in this video we're doing our uh, pool update for Ebok 235. Let's get into it. Right guys, so quite a lot happened in Ebok 235. First thing, there was another upgrade to the pool. So they had a big software update that basically needed to be done before the next thing, which is the Catalyst voting app. So basically, update went fine, like no dramas there. And what we did, what, and we all had the chance to move some of our ADA into a voting wallet uh, with the Catalyst, uh, the Daedalus Catalyst wallet, so that we could register to vote. Because the round two of funding for Catalyst, which is basically like community driven projects to um, help improve Cardano or to bring it more brand recognition, you know, kind of market it better or help build stuff that's going to help attract people, whether it's um, more delegators, whether it's more uh, developers, whether it's more like uh, investors, uh, is basically to help build stuff that helps drive real world use case. And this is amazing like, because there, there are loads and loads of different projects that are about. You should definitely go and check them out. If you missed your chance to sign up because if there was a very short time window, then it's it's too late. Voting goes from yesterday, yesterday or the day before, through to like the early January. So it's only like a couple of weeks worth of, of voting as well. And what we needed to do is basically download the Daedalus Catalyst wallet and download re-download the app. So I just show you a bit of stuff here, but basically, so I had to move Pledge out of the pool into this wallet, which I had to download on my girlfriend's laptop because Daedalus doesn't want to work on my very, very old Mac. And so I had to do that, sync it with the blockchain, move everything over from the pool, kind of let everyone know that I'm not scarpering or closing the pool down. <laughs> and yeah, and then basically register. It took about two hours to sync to the blockchain, which was a nightmare. Uh, it actually stopped at one point as well because um, the, the laptop ran out of power because I didn't have it plugged in. I mean, I don't really use laptops that much, so uh, it's a, an honest mistake. Um, yeah, and then I had to wait, uh, after you sign up and you generate your QR code, then you have to wait an hour just for it to register. So I had to nip out. So basically she had to do the rest of it for me and she had to like, when the barcode come up, screenshot it, take a little uh, thing on and complete the registration on my phone. So that kind of, that got all sorted. We had about an hour, hour and a half to spare, um, which was quite lucky because I think some people did miss out on it just by like a, a small, small period of time, just because you don't realize how long it takes to actually go through that process. Hopefully future funds will be easier. Uh, they're just, gen every every time they do something like this, they reiterate it and they improve the process. So I imagine it's gonna get easier and easier as, go, as we go forward. Um, yeah, so data, so voting, voting's really cool. They're, you basically have however much AD you had and you think that's the kind of the voting power. So if you had, um, 8,000 was the minimum. If you had your 8,000 or 10,000, just say, because it's a nice easy number. If you had 10,000 ADA in your wallet, then what that means is you have, essentially have 10,000 points that you can allocate. And what I thought was you're allocating stuff every day and you have like one vote per day, because that's similar to what we had in the previous version, but it's slightly different. So you can vote as many times as you want and you can vote up or down on stuff. So there's like a thumbs up and a thumbs down like this and you can pick them. You kind of log them all in your um, in your votes and then you just submit them to the blockchain and it basically adds your 16 or 10 to your 10,000 points onto each of these these projects unless obviously you're giving it a thumbs down in which case I imagine it'll detract the, the 10,000 points. Um, anyway, that's all, that's all I know about that. There's loads of information out there. You can definitely go and check some other YouTube videos to find out more if, you're, if you have signed up and you are interested in understanding more about it. Um, other news, so Stoic Pool, we figured out Daedalus. So we're now showing properly on Daedalus, which is such a relief because that's, that's been a nightmare. That has. But we're showing on Daedalus properly now so you can go through your Daedalus wallet, you can search Stoic, or you can type the ID in. All the information is just gonna be below in the description and then you can delegate to Stoic from Daedalus. It hasn't been up for like three, two or three epochs. For some reason it hasn't been shown properly. So we figured out what's going on anyway. It's all weird technical stuff that doesn't really interest you probably. Uh, but it's all fixed. Uh, if anyone else has any problems, trying to get their pool shown on Daedalus, then you can give me a little message or leave me a comment and we'll figure out a way to communicate and I'll help you with the problem, all right? Uh, guys, that's it. We're still looking for blocks. 
you know, we, we're still looking for delegation. So if you know anyone who has some ADA, like whilst the markets are flying, just put it aside and get some rewards then use the information below or go to stoicpool.com to get all the information. You can st stake on Uroi, you can stake on Daedalus now, you can stake on Ada Light, and you can stake from the ledger through Daedalus or Uroi. So if you've got your stuff stored somewhere else, then you can use that as well, okay? Um, yeah, guys, that's it. That's the Epoch update for 235, and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep in touch with the cells.